Alright guys, how are you doing? So, <laughs> this lot may look sad, but I did do some research and um, I think I will do fine. I have to sell one piece and it will more than make my money back. So, um, this, this bid here it was $12 and I was doing it to help out. I saw stuffed animals. I probably saw this one and figured the rest of them were, were just as good, if not better. Um, but this one right here, in a brown and white color, um, is selling on eBay for $20, as far as I can tell. It's a Commonwealth um, 1985 bunny. It does have an Easter thing on there, but... I need to get a better phone with some more memory. The biggest thing is I don't have enough memory on my phone, so that's on the to-do list. Maybe for Christmas or something, but I'd like to start selling these before then. Oh, come on. So, yeah, 1995. Um, so again, I was probably looking at that one, and it's Jason, so I wanted to help out, but, and these look like they're in rough shape, and they probably are, um, but they're also super old. I wasn't able to find anything on this guy, I, oh, maybe I didn't look this one up yet, I'll have to look him up. He's a pillow pet. Um, let's see. 1975. So I'll have to look him up, but I, when I went to move his head to see if it moved a little bit, um, I actually tore the fabric. So I think it's just dry. Um, but he's pretty soft. He's got a, a soft feel to him. Now there's two little seals. And this one is obviously had seen some better days. So... Not much I can do with that one, but this one, um, I don't have a tag on it. I can tell it is made um, with wool or something to that effect because just touching it makes my hands, there's a little bit of a staining there, but, so there's that one. And then this one, this is what I should put for the thumbnail. Jason sent me a rat. <laughs> and so. Um, but yeah, I mean, ew, it's even creepy red eyes, too. Creepy red eyes. Who wants a rat? Anybody want a rat? I'll sell you a rat. So, and you know, this might even sell as a good Halloween joke or something. So who knows? Um, now these look really rough, right? I mean, as a toy, but this is wool, you guys. I can tell it's it's definitely a, um, or Dakin, Draken, something like that. Dakin, I think, is what the fiber is, but... Um, this guy here is a Dreamco. He is like between $12 and $20. Um, I couldn't find the exact picture of him, but there's two more. And these guys are like twins, but they're... See how they lay opposite? And I don't know if they did that on purpose back in those days. But... And they've got green eyes, which I think makes them more valuable, um, but their dream pet, dream pet, is, and they're made in Japan, which is supposed to be a good thing, like Japan's items were made better, and these, I think, I think I found this one, I couldn't, I don't think I found that one, but this one here, can you guess the age on this one? And you can see there's some damage to the fur. But this one definitely makes me itch. It's a Woolican original. Um, 
I did find him online and he's going for $45. However, the one that I saw was in much better condition. You can see it's been hand repaired there. Um, obviously it's dirty, it needs to be cleaned. Looks like either that's where the company taped it, um, or it might have been hand stitched there too, but yeah, so even some in, in worse shape than this are selling, so there could be money there. Um, this little bunny doesn't have a name or a sticker, anything. And this lamb, this lamb looks pretty sad. <laughs> But he is a pet pillow, just like um, the otter, and he does have some discolorization, and his head just seems a little bit um, concave to me, like maybe, or maybe it just needs to be stuffed out. But anyway, he goes for between $15 to $20 too. Um, and other than, you know, the dirt mark, I can't tell if that's hand-stitched or if that was machine-stitched that way. Um, I don't know. I mean, it looks, it appears to be have done. Maybe you guys can tell me. If that was hand-stitched or machine-stitched, but... He was, I'm trying to see if I can, 1974. So, I mean, you can see how old these are, but maybe somebody remembers this as a toy when they were growing up. Who knows? So, okay, that's the lot from Thrift Trader. This big box right here is from Wade's Adventures. <laughs> You're going to laugh at me at that one, maybe. We'll see. Okay, I just, I want to give you a preview of what is in this box. They're all wrapped up. <laughs> I can't wait. Let me open some. Hey guys. So this looks like a mess, but let me tell you, I paid uh, $50 for all of this, if you can believe it. And it works. Like most of this stuff works, as far as I know. So, an oddball hat out of this lot. Again, this lot was from Wade Ventures. Wade's Ventures. Um, I didn't open this one up yet. I will, but I haven't opened that up yet. There's a brand new, well, maybe not brand new, but a curling iron in the box. Um, this works. I've turned it on. This one works. I'm so, super excited about this one. I don't have one. Until now. Um, but that is a home medics uh, massager. And I believe it's got heat, which will be really great for my neck, especially with crocheting and doing um, stitch markers. You're always looking down or looking at a screen. Um, so I'm, I like that. I'm excited about that. There was a whole um, bag of, um, pins, like hair pins and bobby pins. I'm thinking I can use this bag and crochet something and glue it on there and um, have cute little pins for girls. There is a personal beard razor. These do work. I plugged them in and tried them. Um, this works. This is why, you guys, this is why we bought the whole entire lot right here was because there was a wall razor in there and Donnie's had quit working. Um, it worked like one week and then the next week it wouldn't even power on. Uh, you try to look in the stores for a razor at all, a trimmer, a hair trimmer, and you could not find one on Amazon right now. They're running $120. They're normally $49 to $90. So um, here is the actual clips that go on everything and we actually kept the clips from the old one so that's awesome um, there's a hair dryer it plugs in it turns on there's an actual another hair dryer in here 
And I wonder, because they have the bags, if they're not, like, the hair dryers that were in, um, like, hotels, maybe? Like, this one's not, but there's this one, and then there's one over there. Pretty sure those are, like, hair dryers that might have been in a hotel. Um, there's a set of binoculars, which I don't know anything about. Uh, I tried to look through them, but I couldn't exactly see, um this end through but I could see the other end through so I'm not exactly sure if it just needs to be cleaned or adjusted or what's going on there but um let's see an iron I did not turn that one on but I did this is like a personal I don't know if this is a beard trimmer or maybe it could even be used for legs But it's a uh, Ran Ranson. Um, it does need to be cleaned. I looked at it, so it has been used, obviously. Um, but it, I mean, it has its own case, and I didn't look up to see what year it was or anything or how vintage it is. But um, yeah, so you guys, like, seriously, we bought it for the wall razor. But I am actually really impressed that all of these actually still work like seriously this thing has got to be I'm guessing that's 40 to 60 dollars if not more so I'll have to look that up um, I have not opened this box but I'm sure that's in there a comber um, I should probably try that <laughs> I don't know what year it is. That would be funny. If I could find the year. Um, model AC1. Well, I'll do some research and see how much. Well, let's see. Wait, maybe it's. Nope, still no year. Patent pending though, so you can tell that it was. Detangler. Okay. And this right here, I don't know exactly what it is. Um, it appears to be, it says a, vol a voltage valet. Um, I think it's a converter of some sort. So if you look at here, it gives you like the converter plugins and what you should, uh, I think it may be for like overseas to change the outlets to match the outlets overseas. That's my guess. So, I bet you that will sell on eBay. That's my guess. Don't quote me on it, but here's the dryer that I was telling you about. Hair dryer. Um, another bag came with it. These, you guys, um, were wrapped very, very well. Like, nothing got broke on the way here. Everything was padded. Everything was bagged in its own personal bag. Um, but this... This thing is like, <laughs> this thing is what I call a husband beater. Like, you could definitely whack somebody with this over the head. But I don't know if that's plated silver or if that's sterling silver or what, but hi! <laughs> it definitely looks um, antique. And then there is this hair straightener. Um, it does turn on. I plugged it in. And the last one is this mirror. Um, again, I believe it's, you know, vintage. This looks like 1950s to me, but it could be 1970s. It's plastic, but it's pretty. And it got here in one piece, you guys. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, we got, <laughs> we got it all for the wall razor. But I think um, in the long run, we will definitely recoup our money, and um, I'm pretty excited. So thanks, Wade, if you're watching this. Um, I appreciate it getting here all in one piece. I will show you that the box, so every one of those packages was individually wrapped, and then the ones that needed more padding had more padding in it. But anyway, that was this slot. Thanks for watching.